Hello everybody, Trevor here, and welcome to the third installment of Tugboat Month, where I review both tugs and theater tugboat stuff respectively. And for today's top five, we'll be discussing my top five theater tugboat characters. Before we get started, I just wanted to express my thoughts on the show and how it got me interested in the first place. I first found out about this in a U.S. catalog showcasing some Canadian VHS tapes for the show, for some reason. I asked my dad about this, and he's like, okay. And then later, he bought me my very first theater tubbo tape titled Big Harbor Bedtime. I watched the tape, and I thought the show itself was great. In fact, it was so great that I began begging for more VHSs until I got the first three volumes. Of course, I managed to buy even more throughout the years until I got the whole set. Yes, I have all the U.S. tapes of Theater Tubboat, some of which I got from the internet. Now, about my thoughts on the show. The reason I wanted to give this show a chance is because the model work reminds me of Thomas the Tank Engine, except that it takes place in the Big Harbor, which is based on Halifax, Nova Scotia. And believe me, I've been to that place back in 2010, and it was a lot of fun. The show itself also had very likable and memorable characters, as well as excellent writing, good humor here and there, and calming music. I'm so glad I gave this show a chance as a kid. Otherwise, I'd be missing out on a lot of stuff on PBS Kids. I mean, just because I'm a huge Thomas fan doesn't mean I can't give other shows a chance. And because Theodore Tubbo was my second favorite little kid's show, my dad began buying me some of the merchandise, including the Earl models. Though I didn't buy any of the Brio models until my young adult years when I was learning how to purchase items off eBay. Heck, I even got the three US DVD releases of the show when I first visited Halifax, and even I knew they weren't the best copies I've owned. Good thing I still have the VHS ones. Now, about my top five. The reason why I'm doing this instead of a top 10 is because I want to get this video done and over with before the month of October ends. And as much as I love almost all the characters, but these are the 5 individuals I love the most. I'm also going to do a top 5 episodes, but that will be another time. Oh, and one last thing. For this list, I'm only going to pick recurring characters, so no one-offs like Tex or Cabot, even though I actually like those characters. Now, without wasting any more time, let's start sailing. Number five is Owen. Owen is a giant, friendly oil rig with a very loud voice. And that's one thing I like about the character. Another reason for liking him is that he's the only oil rig to have more appearances than any other oil rig. Sure, there's also Tex, but he only appeared in the first episode of season one and had an honorable mention in Theodore the Vegetable. But Owen is more interesting because of these reasons alone. And at one point in the show, he does speak in a hushed voice because of a mean tubbo coming to the harbor named Oliver the Vast. Also, am I the only one who thinks that Oliver would make a good reoccurring antagonist in the show? Then he'd be like the show's equivalent of Devious Diesel. Oh, and I do wish I had the Earl set with the character because it looks so cool. In fact, it's the only Earl Diecast Theater Tubbo toy I don't have. Man, I'm so jealous. Number four is Pugwash. When it comes to female characters in Theater Tubbo, Pugwash would have to be my most fair of them all because she's cute and adorable. When she first appeared in the season five episode, Theodore and the Hunt for Northumberland, the big black sub was too scared to meet her because he's afraid that she's going to bump him but Pugwash reassures him that she doesn't do that anymore, much to Northumberland's delight. Another one of my favorite episodes regarding Pugwash is Theodore's Big Decision, where Pugwash was afraid of lighthouses due to the loud and scary noises they make with their foghorns. So Theodore had to find a way to get Pugwash back onto the surface by using Owen the oil rig to cover up the moon because he thought that's what she's also afraid of. Thankfully, the plan worked, and Pugwash finally went back up to the surface. Pugwash is number four because she was originally going to get a spin-off series known as Pugwash's Underwater Adventures, where she explores the bottom of the ocean and meets real-life sea creatures, 
which was to blend models with live action. It was also going to have 43-minute episodes, but because Cochrane Entertainment went out of business, the show was cancelled, which was very sad. Thankfully, there was a leaked pilot on YouTube showing Pugwash's redesign with iMovie mechanisms and was named Sophie the Sub, which was Pugwash's original name. Number three is Digby. I love Digby the Cable Ship. Not only he looks awesome, but I think his voice and accent to be quite charming. And Denny Doherty, the narrator of the show, did a perfect job with his voice. At first, I thought it was an Irish accent, but according to the Wikia, it's a Newfoundland accent, which is a type of Canadian accent. Anyways, what I like about Digby's character is that he often gets stuck in his own cables, and Theater was the only one who could help get him unstuck. Another reason why I love Digby is because he's quite funny, especially with his catchphrases like Fibberty Jibberty and Well Bless Me Barnacles, just to name a couple. All in all, when it comes to vessels like him, Digby is my most favorite out of all of them, and that's why he deserves the number three spa on this list. Number two is Guys Bro. Ah yes, the grumpy garbage barge who hates being clean. Though, despite his attitude, he does have a heart of gold in some episodes. For example, in Guys Bro Makes a Friend, because of Guys Bro's grumpiness, Theodore tried his best to keep him separated from Digby only to realize that they've had an unexpected friendship. You see, when Digby called him rotten and stinky, it didn't seem to hurt Guysbro's feelings one bit, much to Theodore's surprise. Another reason why he's number two is because he's the show's equivalent of Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. I also have an Earl Bath toy version of Guysbro in my collection, though my old copy got thrown away because, you know, bath toys don't last forever. But at least I got a new one off of eBay. All in all, Guysbro is my most favorite barge character because of his grumpy attitude. And that's why he deserves the number two spot. Now, before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a few honorable mentions. Northumberland. He's cool, but I chose Pugwash instead because she's the most interesting. And as I've said, she would have been given a spin off series. Barrington. He got beat out by Guys Bro, though his name makes me think of one of my dogs who's also named Barrington which makes the little barge my second favorite barge character. Shelburne. He also got beat up by Guys Bro, and he would be my third favorite barge character. Emily. When it comes to Tubbo characters, she would be number four. In fact, she would have to be my second favorite female character because she's the only known female Tubbo in the entire show, if you don't count Lucy or Molly the Behemoth, that is. And my number one most favorite theater Tubbo character of all time is Theodore himself. Yes, I decided to put the titular character as number one mainly because he's the main hero of this show. He's even the show's equivalent of Thomas the Tank Engine in terms of being friendly and always eager to help out. Like Thomas in Ten Cents, Theodore is one of the main characters I relate to the most because he's so kind, caring, sweet, and very helpful to his friends and acquaintances. For example, in Theodore and the Scared Ship, a ship named Seabright was too scared to go under Benjamin Bridge. So Theodore decided to use reverse psychology by telling him that he doesn't have to go under the bridge if he doesn't want to. Which Seabright then says, Well, I have to drop off my cargo. And just like that, he slowly went under Benjamin Bridge. And if you've been paying attention to the third candidate on this list, he often helps Digby get unstuck from his cables. In addition, because of his very friendly and helpful nature, Theodore always puts on his smile whenever he greets other ships when they enter the big harbor. Oh, and did I forget to mention that his smile reminds me of Gumby in a way? I mean, it looks like a stop-motion smile. And that's another thing. Did you know that there's a life-size replica of Theodore Tubbo known as Theodore 2? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? In fact, I've been on that ride before, and it was a lot of fun. Though I really wish I had all the Theodore 2 books, because I only have the first three. Overall, 
Theodore is my most favorite Tubbo character and my most favorite character in the entire show. And because of his kind, friendly, and helpful personality, he is one of my favorite cartoon role models along with Thomas. Now let me know in the comments section below on which of these Theodore Tubbo characters are your favorite. Do you agree with my list or do you have your own personal preference? My next Theater Tubbo video will be on my top 5 favorite episodes, so stay tuned for that. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.